I live in New York City, where we have a lot of buildings, a lot of traffic, and a lot of trash. With 8 million people and over 18,000 restaurants, wasting food is a mounting problem. Where is our food waste going? How much does it cost us? In dollars and in other ways. And more importantly, what can we do about it? I had to find out. That fine line when food gets taken off the plate as it's going towards the trash, it's amazing how in a matter of seconds food goes from being something delicious and yummy to being garbage. New York City sends 11 million tons of compostable food waste to landfills every year. If you think global warming is a problem, then you have to acknowledge that landfilling organics is a problem. In the natural world, there's no such thing as waste. There's no such thing as garbage. It doesn't exist. It's a human invention. If you count the waste at the farm and the production level all the way up through the distribution system and the preparation phase and then what people don't eat at the end of a meal, the amount of food that is wasted in general in the United States is it's an extraordinary number. It's true that since Fresh Kills Landfill closed in 2001, most of New York City's trash is carted elsewhere, including a large portion to poor Pennsylvania, with over 50 landfills. Speaking of poor, tipping fees and tolls cost the city $250 million a year, while tractor trailers burn 33,000 gallons of diesel fuel a day, not to mention the wear and tear to our highways. And somehow, as our trash gets carted further and further away, it seems to be creeping closer and closer to home. You can look at the problems with disposing of food uh, from two different perspectives. One is the, really the lost nutrients, the lost organic matter that is being disposed of, that is not being returned to the land. And the other side is really the environmental problems that are caused when food waste is put into a landfill. Food waste in a landfill is, is really bad news. It's organic, it's carbon-based, and when it decomposes, it creates methane, which is a potent greenhouse gas. The basic design of a landfill now is like a bathtub. It's designed to contain things. Consequently, what goes in is going to stay there. Most of the stuff inside a landfill, under the first eight feet of of garbage is not decomposing at all. Landfills are more like mummifiers than decomposers. And they found newspapers that were 40 years old that you could still read and hot dogs that still looked like you might want to eat them. According to the New York Department of Sanitation, they collect over 12,000 tons of residential waste every day. If 16% of that is food waste, that is almost 2,000 tons of food waste. That's a lot of food. But I can't even imagine how much that is. Most of us probably can't even wrap our minds around what one ton is. One ton is 2,000 pounds, which is around the weight of an average compact car. The average elephant weighs 12,000 pounds, or around six tons, so our food waste would equal over 300 elephants. An average airplane gassed up and ready for takeoff weighs around 76 tons. It would take over 26 of these airplanes to equal our daily food waste. That's a lot of frequent flyer miles. So if landfilling isn't the answer, what's the alternative? Composting is really uh, something, uh, it's a natural process. And whenever you have uh, organic material or biodegradable material, uh, you can basically compost them or recycle them back into soil or fertilizer. Our program starts with people that come to Union Square to the Green Market or people that live in the Lower East Side uh, that drop off their kitchen scraps with us. We have what's called an in-vessel composting system. It takes about two, at least two months, but eventually we will have finished compost from the process. 
Christina also told me how to compost on a smaller scale with food scraps in my apartment. First, get a plastic bin for your apartment. Next, shred some newspaper strips, soak them in water, and add them to the bin. Then, this is the fun part, buy one pound of red wiggler worms and pour those hungry fellas in there. Finally, it's time to add your kitchen scraps. See this crumbly stuff? After three months, that's what your food waste will look like. Businesses like the Park Slope Food Co-op in Brooklyn jumped on the compost wagon years ago. Members of the co-op were largely people who understood the cycle of life of you put things back in the earth, you don't just throw them into a landfill. They donate old food to a nearby community garden. This Chelsea restaurant gives around 500 pounds of kitchen scraps to a city garden each week. I am the composting Nazi. And I just had this amazing feeling of like, oh my god, I'm really doing something. All this food isn't just going into the garbage, into the landfill. It was very satisfying. I wish more people thought this way. So if restaurants compost their food waste, the organic materials become soil. Farmers then use the composted soil to grow their food. Restaurants in turn buy from those local farmers with their leftovers heading to the compost bin again, thus closing the loop. Mother Nature for millions and millions of years has shown us, naturally, that organic materials can be recycled. The Woodview facility receives food waste from supermarkets, produce centers, for the Korean American markets in New York City, and that material is uh, composted in what we call windrows. The whole concept of recycling is not to put them in the landfill if they can be reused. Rikers Island Prison implemented a program for their kitchen waste, composting 5,000 tons of food a year. The carts are emptied, the food waste is put on to uh, the table, which goes down into the pit where the water comes down, it goes into a chopping session, and goes into a waste bucket. The waste bucket at that point now is taken to the compost section on Rikers Island where it is recycled. He basically puts the material on the bottom and when the food comes in, dumps it on the top, then they'll take it and mix it and then the material is put in there. That's the agitating base. Basically the end product of this material is compost which is used for the gardens project and horticulture programs on Rikers Island. Given so much information, I wonder why isn't more being done? We can compost our own food scraps and restaurants and supermarkets can recycle their food waste and even save money doing it. It's time for a change, in the Big Apple and across the country. I'm doing my part. How about you?